I should have shuttered you fraudulent gangsters forever when I had the chance. You know what? I'm going to put an end to this madness now. Right now. I'm shutting down your containment grid for good. You can kiss off a permanent license, not to mention any chance for more government contracts. You did this to me. And you're going to pay. You're welcome, you peck. All right, that's it. That's it. You're done, smart guys. You are done, smart, cool guys. I have the authority, and I'm shutting you and your phony containment grid down now. The whole city will have to pay because of your shenanigans. The whole city. What? But that shuts you down, too. Well, so be it. I have bigger fish to fry. And get him off me! I think we need to keep an eye on him. You think? No. I mean, we really need to keep an eye on him. Now, what could that possibly mean? You're real heroes. Kind of routine. As usual, I led the charge. <laughs> We're fired heroes. Peck's gonna pull our license. Well, get real, Ray. It's the holidays. Nobody in this town's gonna be around to pull our license till Monday. We got the whole weekend to stop this calamity and probably half a dozen others, save the city. We got a four-day weekend. We have time left for ourselves. Dr. Vinkman, if they start evacuating Manhattan, I won't be coming in on Monday. Catastrophic exodus of the city does not count as a floating holiday. I know. I looked it up. Sorry, I wanted you to catch all of that dialogue because it probably wasn't too loud. Um, anyway, he shut down the containment grid in the first movie. That didn't end up too well. That just Hello, Gozer, brought about Buster. the occurrence of Gozer. Oh, you don't know that. Okay, hand. so, uh, in and out of here interactive moment? No. Uh, what I know? I'm no interactive moment right here. 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 Looks like we're just gonna have to go around, find they the next I one. I'm not sure what the next level is, to be honest. Yeah, it's pretty big. I that think you'll see. I mean, I'll anything. see as well. Anyway, Ooh. going away for Thanksgiving. Oh, it's a toaster. But we have to roll nice. So you're just gonna see uh, everything you've collected scattered around the area. You'll just have to wander around. Some of it will be in the bedroom, some of it will be down here, upstairs, wherever. I think I had to go here. Yep, there we go. Sorry for the delay. What does this symbol mean? Mm -hmm. Uh, guys. How did nobody else see that? Perfect fit. It's not a constellation. It's a mandala. I can't believe I never saw it before. Okay, for one minute, pretend someone here doesn't know what a mandala is. Mandala is like a spiritual labyrinth. And this one looks like a spiraling system that feeds into each successive node along the line until it reaches a culmination point. Before he died, Shandor must have set some mechanism in place similar to the antenna in Dana's building. You know, I think you helped to make that clearer. So this was the gizmo that's supposed to feed energy to the destructor form? That's... that's right, Peter! <laughs> well, Dr. Venkman. Well, I had to get one right eventually, didn't I? I mean, just math. All right, I'm just speculating, but it's possible that Probably ghosts are trapped in the system, funneled from node to node, and they get stronger and stronger until they reach the end, and then they... Look, the first portal, the library, the second, the museum, and the third, the Sedgwick. And that means the fourth portal must be right here. The middle of the Hudson River? Well, according to the Mandala, yes. It may need a little tweaking. I don't know, plenty of bodies in that river. Could become ghosts. But what does this have to do with me? What did I do? You were at the museum and the Sedgwick. Maybe you were some sort of catalyst, accidentally setting things in motion. You're saying this is my fault? You are blameless! What Egon meant to say was that you have some sort of connection to this thing and we're gonna go back to the Sedgwick and find out what. Isn't that right? Ah, we're going back to the Sedgwick. That's okay, right. that's the next level. Return Alyssa, to Hotel Sedgwick. Do you remember where you were going when you were at the Sedgwick? I was standing outside a room, 1221. Something was compelling me to go in, but I woke up just before the door opened. 
I ran out of there as fast as I could. And then some jerk tried to pick me up on the elevator. Okay, you need to stay here where it's safe <laughs> and where you can't set off any more cross-dimensional shockwaves, hot stuff. Here, read up on the Mandela and the boys will check out the Sedgwick. The boys? And what about you, Superstar? I'm gonna have you drop me off near Peck's office. Something tells me he's not quite what he seems. Good idea. Meet us at the hotel when you're done. Alright, sounds like fun. So it's just us three yet again. It really seems like it's mainly teams of three that handle the situations in this game. Occasionally you have the two, and occasionally you'll be ditched, where you'll just be the one. Whoa, if this place were any more dead, we need a coroner. Egon used to be a licensed coroner. No kidding. It's just a hobby now. <laughs> Some hobby. Close until further notice by the Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. Peacock. Entrance into this establishment is strictly forbidden and is punishable by fine and imprisonment. What now? Man, that can really this ruin a hotel's reputation. Public. It doesn't apply to us. We're bonded contractors for the city. Especially the Ghostbusters. Wow. All right, heat them up. We'll melt our way in. Wait, I have a better idea. Why would it be unlocked? I mean, if you're not allowed in, why would why would you leave it unlocked? It's not like a sign hmm. is going to stop you from going this is in. Disappointing. No, disappointing is the Jets losing in the last two minutes. Not being covered in slime by phantom ghouls out to kill us doesn't exactly make me reach for a hanky. Why they shut down? You guys didn't bang the place up that bad last time you were here. If this place is a Mandala note, a few burnt walls and broken ceilings are the last thing that anybody's... And smashed furniture, broken chandeliers, destroyed paintings, shattered vases, probably some minor structural damage. Thanks, Egon. My point being that there's more to worry about here than some minor cosmetic issues. Definitely a Mandala node. If we don't shut down Shandor's Mandala soon, most of Manhattan will become as vacant as this. Not to mention also becoming a bastion of absolute mind-numbing horror for centuries to come. Hey, I definitely don't lay out two grand a month for a 600 square foot walk-up to live in a bastion. Let's get to work. Okay. I'm pretty sure I destroyed this place a little more last time. I definitely left a few... few... that I left fewer pillars last time. Am I meant to be scanning? Oh, yes. Uh, there is... God damn it. Can't open it yet, but... In there is an achievements opportunity. Uh, if I remember later, I'll head back to it and show you what to do. If I forget, I'll put up an annotation showing you that you need to come back here. It's an ambush! Get them hot! What? Where? Wait a minute, wait. I don't think they're a threat. They may only be residual hauntings. Ah, right. hello. They haven't crossed entirely into this dimension. They're just psychokinetic echoes. Ghosts of ghosts. Completely harmless. Great. I was hoping to meet a friendly ghost someday, but I'll settle for harmless right now. I'm getting a strong <laughs> valence spike higher up in the building. Alyssa said she was called to the 12th floor. Let's start there. Okay, let's go to the elevator. Or is the power off? Meaning no elevators. Meaning stairs. Nothing. They'd have shut down the power when they closed. Can meaning we stairs. Well, we can try climbing, but the last time we were here, a level three animator took out the bottom of the staircase. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. I forgot you weren't here last time, Winston. So no stairs, no elevators. Did you hear something? Over there. Come on. Over where? Why are we running towards the noise? Um, I think we're dealing with a level five anchored ambusher. Be careful. It went into the stairwell. We've got it cornered. Meaning? This uh, is just how a level five anchored ambusher lures you in. The manager? Um, what are you doing here? Ghosts. Monsters. Everywhere. 
There was another voice. A woman screamed. Are you alone in here? Look, I just said ghosts and monsters everywhere. Does that sound like I'm alone? <laughs> he meant people. Then yes. I think so. <laughs> well, I guess that explains it. <laughs> Sir, there's no need to fear. These are just shadows, echoes of actual ghosts. They can't hurt you. Come with us, sir. We can lead you to safety. Can we? Now oh, then, was there or was there not? Ooh. I'm certain there was a artifact in this stairwell. Which seems to be... There we go. Broccoli Queen Autobiography. Circa 1973, as related in her book Confessions of a Broccoli Queen, the beauty S Sydney Chalmers, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, came to the big city with big dreams and, mod and a modeling contract, and was selected by Broccoli Queen and was selected Broccoli Queen of the Thanks Thanksgiving Day Parade in 1967. Sorry, I'm a little off. Little did she know that she that would be the pinnacle of her career. She went to Hollywood to make movies, but only appeared in a string of low-grade exploitation films. A life of ongoing wild parties and desperation led her to pen a sexy and scathing tell-all of the beauty industry. Sydney died in a tragic and somewhat suspect hot tub accident the day the book hit the stands. She never... And then it's, it's doing that thing again where I can't read the last line. Oh well, suspense. And now I'm hearing ballroom music. I don't know if that's part of the atmosphere or part of the artifact. It's a cutscene so you know something good's gonna happen. Are you telling me nobody saw her carrying the knife that whole time? God. Someone you know? I don't know. Most of the old staff knows the story of the Spider Witch, a professional widow who did unimaginable things in a room on the 12th floor back in the 1920s. Hmm. Wouldn't want to meet her in a dark Why alley. Don't you evacuate with everyone I else? came back last night to retrieve some payroll records, but the hotel won't let me out. The door's shut on me. And the phones are down too. That means we're trapped now too. And we have to hope that Peter figures out we're missing. There goes a weekend. <laughs> Not necessarily. The 12th floor is apparently the core of this node. If we can get the power back on, we can take the elevators. If the elevators don't eat us. Yes, if the elevators don't eat us. Where are the circuit breakers for this place? We don't have a lot of time. Uh, breakers? In my office. But the city came and turned off most of our power after the electrical fire on the third floor. There's no way to turn it back on from here. That's inconvenient. We've got to find some way to get the elevators moving. There's a backup generator in the utility room, off the kitchen. It's for emergency blackouts. Perfect. Let's give it a try. To the kitchen. To the kitchen! Well, I've been waiting to say something along those lines. It's a pity it had to be as sad as the kitchen, but you know what? I'll settle. Now, I believe... There we go. Ambush. Ah. Wow. I don't remember them looking like that. Okay. These guys should be the same as, uh, what were they called? Basically like the book equivalent in the library, if you can remember what I'm talking about. On your left. Shock blasts are the best, but a good uh, bears on that will also get to them. Get out of the way! I'm sorry. Well, that was tough. Uh, where am I now? Apparently, fulminate to this plane that doesn't seem like they're happy about it. Right. Now, let's find that backup generator. The kitchen. Is it through here? Yes, just down there. <laughs> but it's only me, sunshine. Yeesh. Oops, I accidentally... There we go. Recover trap. Hello? Anyone there? All right, guys. I'm too used to pressing X. Utility room should be around here somewhere. 
in some dark, scary corner. I know I've said this before, but be careful. I don't think. Did I miss it? Aha. Um. 